Hello everyone, this is Ivan and in today's video we'll be checking out the sound settings. The sound settings contain the parameters that will affect the sound of each of the slots. The first parameter on the list is called accent. The accent defines the destination and the headroom of the accent input over here. As you can see by default the accent is assigned to mix 1 and 2, which means that it will control the volume, but you can also assign it to any of the parameters that Zaps has. Next we have the headroom control. Headroom sets the parameter difference between when the accent is high and when it is low. For example, if we set the headroom to 27, it means that when the accent is high, our mix 1 and 2 value will be 127, and when the accent is low, it will be equal to 100. The higher the value of the headroom, the bigger the difference between the trigger with the accent on or accent off. For standard use of the accent, use the headroom values between 5 and 30. The next parameter on the list is called VCO Sync. What the VCO Sync does is it resets the waveform at the start of each trigger. This way the sound will not click when triggered and it can be set to on or off. Next we have hold 1 and hold 2 which are identical. When set to the internal, the fader hold 1 will be used to control the hold amount. With the external configuration, the time will depend on the gate length at the trigger input over here. The hold 2 is very much similar to the hold 1, but it controls the second envelope. When set to the internal, it means that we can control the hold value using this slider, and if it's set to external, the hold value will be controlled using the gate length. Next we have the slope for envelope 1, which can be set to either logarithmic or linear, and the same for the slope 2 of the second envelope, which can also be set to logarithmic or linear. Next we have the retrigger 1 and retrigger 2, which activates the retrigger functionality for the envelope 1 and envelope 2. Inside of the retrigger 1 menu, you'll first find the distribution, which can be linear, logarithmic or exponential. Next we have the retrigger pattern, that can be set using these slots. Once the pattern has been set, we can exit this menu and see how it sounds. By default, we have this slot. Now we can adjust the time between each repetition on the first envelope. To do that, we press layer and start adjusting the slider. Now we can go back to the sound settings and, for example, change the retrigger pattern. Go back. And we have a new pattern. The same applies to the retrigger 2, but now we are controlling the second envelope that will control the main VCA. The sound settings menu also allows you to copy and paste the parameters between different slots. For example, we have the first slot where the VCO sync is set to on and the second slot where it's turned to off. If we would like to copy the VCO sync setting from the first slot to the second, all we have to do is enter the first slot, navigate to the VCO sync, hold press the encoder, and press the slot that you want to copy this parameter to. Now the second slot also has the VCO sync turned to on. If you would like to copy a specific parameter to multiple slots, all you have to do is hold press the encoder and press multiple slot button. That is all for this video, in the next episode we'll check out the random function.